Windell's way, and we can just well, we played it quickly. I thought we might have just calmed it down, but we've decided to get on with it. And Henderson's driving forward here. He's over the halfway line. He's got Hayes out to his right hand side. He's got Cairo Mitchell on the edge of the area. Mitchell turns. Mitchell gets his shot away. And it just, well, just wide of the post. It wasn't too far away. He would probably feel he should have done better there and hit the target. And in the end. Oh, Grayson. Well, they've got it back through Hayes. Down the right hand side, Hayes goes. He's uh, going stride for stride. He's still into the areas. Hayes onto his left foot. Hayes, he's still trying to get his shot away. He's a good save from the keeper. Oh. And then he's piled over the top by Ian Henderson. Well, There's a man on that right hand side who's seen that raking pass. Here he it, comes. And it's going to go out that way. As they play it down the line first time, but Ebanks Landell mops it up. Him and the do roll. Oh, that's a straight one by Ebanks Landell. And the goalkeeper's been beaten. It's across the face of goal. Mm. It was Deninger who got in to Gilmore. Now Ebanks Landell to a do roll. Gets the ball out from his feet, out to the right hand side to Hayes, who we like to see him drive forward here. The Fleetwood Loney. Ball into the area. It's just deflected. He's going to find his way to Kehan. Kehan to Uchegbalum. Uchegbalum yes. with a curl in it. And Chesar and Uchegbalum picks out the top corner. And Dale lead here by one goal to nil in the 16th minute. You check with him with his first goal for the club. First goal, not a bad one. Great arrowing strike into that top round corner, but it's, it's all about the, the lead up there. Good touch by Oli. Now Lofthouse trying to feed it through. And uh, we've got a bit, few live wires up front. It's a ball into the air. It's away by George Nevitt and Henderson coming back as. Uh, been caught in possession and then East is adjusted to a foul of his man on the edge of a D and this is a dangerous situation for for Dale to have to defend. France is the only one over it. He's going to strike this one. It's a strike. It's a good save by, by uh, the oh, Dale goalkeeper but the flag goes up on the follow-up. It was a very good save in the first instance by Louis Molden. Going to clip that one forward, looking for the run of Mitchell, who is onside here. And Mitchell's in on goal. Can he get the strike away? He can, but the keeper saved it. And Henderson off a follow up. That's headed it into the back of the net. Dale have doubled their advantage. 26 minutes on the clock. It's Rochdale 2, Gates at nil. Fantastic ball over the top. And exactly what I asked about Mitchell earlier on in the game. I said, please get onto that back line, stretch them. He's got the pace, he's got legs. A little sideways pass this time by Booty. It's worked its way out towards Hannant. Now Francis once more in midfield. Cross it goes to the right hand side. He's working to Lofthouse. He's got a bit of space here to maybe swing a cross in. Maybe an early cross would have been better for him there, but he's trying to jink it into the box. He's got a second yeah. bite of a cherry here. We've got a man over on the right hand side. We want to use him, but it's a ball into the area. It's Ooh. off the crossbar. And uh, well. Deninga almost got his 13th of the season. It was a little clip ball in, a free header from Deninga. Doing just the same down the left. It's a committed team performance here to try and defend. Played short. Works out to the edge of the area. It's a curling ball into the area. It's, a, it's into the back of the net, but the flag has gone up. Well, they've slammed it into the net. It was a really, really good finish from the defender to slide that back across the face of goal and into the far corner. But... Uh, we restore it uh, just straight offside, and the flag saves Dale. Oh, it's a shot to us as well, but good value for it, I think. Just clinical, gets it about their opportunities. They'll go looking very early for the match, switch fins up, but they've got straight to the winger. And he's going forward here, is uh, Lofthouse, he's into the air, he's bundled his way through, he's gone to ground, perhaps a little bit too theatrically. Uh, well, Rob Elliott wants a penalty, Jim McNulty wants uh, a booking. I don't think either manager's going to get the wish. Poor Fischl's working overtime tonight, isn't he? He's right in the middle of the two. You check the one to Jimmy Kehan on the left hand side. Kehan's been put into a bit of a corner. Bundled. <laughs> and gets a free kick. And then he whipped into the box. And it's header at goal. And it's not far wide. It's a yellow card offence these days, though. So I think Hayes has made the right choice to step away. And uh, Gates said. Back into that defence, looking for the ball over the top. Never exposed as Denanga gets in behind. Denanga on the right hand side, been forced out a little bit. Never stuck with him, but it's worked back towards Francis on the edge of the area. Goes for a shot. What a strike that is! That is an unstoppable strike by Ed Francis. He's hit that one with his left peg, 18 yards out, and it's arrowed into the, the far top corner. Louis Molden, no chance. Well, game on. Far too easy and far too much time given to Francis on the edge of the box there. The ball over the top, OK, Denanga gets in behind, but from there, Dale have to reset and have to close down the uh, the passes. 
Francis Amel said nothing away from the strike. It's an absolute arrow into the top left hand corner of the goal. And we did say the next goal would be crucial. That has given the Gateshead fans over to our right some belief. Times like this, I think you'd start to look towards your bench. Fed, ball fed through ball. here to Dinger. He's in on goal. He's going to clip that one in, but that's a great save by the Dale goalkeeper and cleared away by Jimmy Keerham. It was a brilliant through ball. Dininger had uh, beaten the offside track one on one with Louis Bolden. He tried to dink it over the top of him, but Louis Bolden stuck an arm out, got a block onto it, and Keerham followed up to clear away. But uh... good header from him. Not, uh, not cautious about swinging across in Gates head from wide. The uh, right on side, we're going to get a shot away, and it's in the back of the net. It's rifled in on the edge of the area by Kenton Richardson. And um, they've come from two goals down, and it's back to all square. Rochdale two gates at two. It's really been working here. Richardson could, should be in a bit of trouble here because he's just goaded the Sandy Lane end um, with the celebration. But what a strike. They've worked their way down that right hand side, and again, it's space on the edge of the box. Time to get his shot off. It's hit hard and low. To the right of uh, Louis Molden, he can't get anything on it. It's right to the bottom corner, and uh, yeah, from a, from a 2 0 deficit, they've brought it all the way back. Well, it's unforced errors that are seeing them go forward here, Kate said. And now you check them. Can he stretch his legs up against the defense? He twists him one way, plays it down the left hand side for Kehan, who continues his run. Superb support from Jimmy. Such another good game, Jimmy Kehan, you feel. Back out towards East. East clips it in. Maybe should have had a strike there, East. Clearance away by Gates. That is a little yeah, bit hurried. A do roll. Good puts ball. it in towards Kehan at the back post, but he's going to be defended. And Uchegbalum will keep it in play. Left hand side. He's into the area, Uchegbalum. Cuts one way, then the other. Twists one way. Trying to get his shot away. Does Ooh. get his shot away. It's saved by the keeper. It comes back to Kehan, but Kehan can't bring it under control. And Gates. Yeah, everyone's gone short, but this one's going to go underneath the crossbar. Molden gets a punch onto it. Shot's going to come in, it's charged down by uh, East. It's worked back out to the left-hand side here. Cross is deep, oh, it's dear. wide. And the full-time whistle goes, and from being 2-0 up, Dale conceded two in the second half, and that's why you're hearing boos at the full-time whistle. As you said, Paul, a draw against a Gateshead side. Who...